this is a Grand Canal. You can sail boats, transport goods, linking north and south. But a high section often dried, blocking boat passage. How do you solve this problem? A genius. You found a nearby river with abundant water. You decided to use its water. You dammed the big river, dug a channel, bringing water to the dry canal. But facing the current, the dam was easily washed away. You dug a curved path, slowing water before it entered the channel. This greatly reduced the water's impact, making the dam more stable. But when the river flooded, levels rose overflowing the dam and causing floods. So, ingeniously, you designed the dam with three heights. In dry seasons, as water levels drop, river water flows into the canal. During rainy seasons, as water rises, it first flows back into the river from the lowest opening to relieve floods. As water rises, it exits the second opening. If it keeps rising, it submerges the entire dam, ensuring full flood relief. But if extreme storms hit, submerging all three levels, catastrophic dam failure is still possible. So you dug a backup spillway on the side. It's slightly higher than the main dam. When water levels near the main dam's overflow, water automatically spills into the spillway, flowing downstream, adding a safeguard for the entire dam. This tiered design acts like an automatic sluice system, self-adjusting to water levels ensuring stable canal navigation. But you found a 10-meter drop between the river and canal. Once introduced, water rushed like a breaking dam, easily destroying the channel's banks and gates, also easily causing much silt to clog the canal. So you built the diversion channel with winding, curved sections, using bends to slow the rapid current, making it gentle and controllable. Even so, in dry years, water sources might still be insufficient. So you built three large reservoirs, storing water when plentiful, opening sluices in dry times, continuously feeding the canal, maintaining navigation. Thus, you designed Daiquan Dam, the Grand Canal's core. Diversion, slowing, storage, and graded spillway. It was built in Meng Young Lang's ninth year, it's operated 614 years, still functioning today, flowing endlessly 